Hello, I'm Dr. C and this is Designing Word Clouds with Wordle. First we're going to visit Wordle at wordle.net. So let me pull up a browser. And here we are. You'll notice you can create from this browser but you cannot do it in Firefox, Edge, or Chrome because it uses Java applets. Instead, scroll to the bottom and download the version that fits your system. Windows on the left, the Mac on the right. Once you have the software downloaded, it looks like this. You're going to copy some text into the big area on the left. So here's my document. I'm just going to highlight with a Control A to select all, a Control C to copy, and a control V to paste. On a Mac that would be a command A, command C, and command V. <laughs> and here's my content. Now it's about 45 pages of content. I'm going to click on the Wordle tab and now it's any which way and it's showing me 150 words. Well that's way too many and this is hard to read. So I'm going to go under the layout and I'm going to ask for maximum words 50. I can ask for more later but that's a good start. Then I'm going to say, well let's make it mostly horizontal so I can read them easier. But that font's really not working for me. Now I like a variety of different fonts, but if you're writing for education or you're concerned about accessibility, use Lucida Sans or one of the sans serif fonts. It's much easier for folks who may experience dyslexia. Now, there are words on this page that are not very important. The words that are larger are, are, appear more often in my document. So the more often I say something, the larger the word is. Well, my name is here and I'm going to right click it and remove it because, hey, I was citing myself because when I published papers with various journals, they own the content. <laughs> I signed away the rights to the content so I have to cite myself in order to discuss that content. But my name's not important to the story. I'm going to right click the word new. Oops, I'm on the wrong one. Right click the word new and remove it because it's not important. The word using really isn't important either. Use is because we are talking about how we use these technologies, but using wasn't. Let's look if there are any other words. What I'm doing is right-clicking the word, like early. Right-click early and select remove. Right-click within. Now it normally removes all of the simple words, like articles and pronouns, but um, some of them remain next. Now if you have figures in your document, the word figure might appear here and it would not be very important because you that would be referring to your housekeeping, right? So you would remove that. Well this is a pretty good set. Now the question is, do I like the white background? Do I like this layout? Or do I want to change it? I could go fully horizontal, but to me that lacks a certain elegance. The one nice thing is it's easy to read, you know. <laughs> so if that's what you prefer, certainly go for that. You can recolor it. So if I'm presenting for a um, for a keynote address or a conference presentation, and I need black a black background, that looks very elegant. If I'm writing for a certain kind of audience or a certain kind of font, I can certainly use that, and I can also change around all my styles until I like that layout. Some of the fonts get a little tighter you'll notice. Once you're happy with your content, that'll do. I love the fact that the word flow is in the middle of virtual. That's working for me. <laughs> So now I'm going to save that as a PNG and I'm just going to call it um, Wordle Black Background for now. Now I'm going to recolor it and save it again. And guess what? 
Now I'm just going to say white background. <laughs> and save. Okay. Now let's use these in our document. Let's say we open a new document and we're just going to hit the enter key a few times. There's a so you can see how many times I hit it. I want to drop my cursor about there, go to the insert ribbon, the picture, and I'm going to look for black background first. There it is. And I'm going to scroll down and click in another spot, and insert the white one so I can compare them and see which one I like best. Right? Now I'm going to scroll up. I'll remove the paragraph marks so I can see my what I my content. And there we have an example of creating a a figure using Wordle. And of course we could restyle this. We can do a lot more with it. We can reduce the number of words, increase them, you name it. Well, I'm Dr. C and I would like to uh, encourage you to have fun with word clouds and other tools. There are many types of software for designing word clouds online that are browser based and they have different features. The reason I'm using this one is because it's very easy to use and you can grab the software for free. Again, that's wordle.net designed by Jonathan Feinberg 2014 and many thanks to Jonathan for his support in creating this tool. There are many tips here on the website so if you need more information check it out at wordle.net. Bye-bye.